Hi everyone, it's Shannon here and welcome to Honeybee Stamps Adventure Awaits Release Video Hop. In today's video, we are going to create this vibrant dusk lake scene using a new die set and layering stencil set from Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to start with the Lakeside Scene Builder die. This die will cut along the top and a couple cut lines in the lake so you can position that canoe in the water. But the most of it of uh, most of this die is just going to kind of emboss your paper with all these beautiful details that will really add to our ink blending when we use the at the lake stencils which you see here this is a layering stencil set that has six stencils each one of these stencils are labeled at the top that's how you know you've got your stencils going the right way and also obviously where what you're going to be coloring or ink blending in on that stencil we're going to start with the stencil labeled tall trees foreground and river bank i'm going to grab my panel here that i die cut with the lake side scene builder die the panel is five and a half across i've just tucked the bottom end of that panel through the stencil so actually at the very bottom my panel is actually on top of the stencil but the rest the stencil is on top of the paper and i'm going to start by ink blending all the openings here with rustic wilderness a really beautiful dark green distress ink. I'm going to add a little gradation to the trees and a little gradation to the riverbank, but mostly this is pretty flat, really dark color. I want this foreground to be, since this is kind of like a night scene or the, the lights going, the sunlight's going down, I want this foreground to be a little bit darker. So after I ink blended that stencil, I'm moving on to my next stencil, which is the tall trees background stencil. I just lined up the stencil with the um, embossed trees on the panel and then I'm ink blending with mowed lawn distress ink. After I ink blended this, I felt like there wasn't enough contrast between the two uh, layers. So I went back to the tall trees foreground and riverbank stencil. So I repositioned it and now I'm ink blending more of that rustic wilderness just to kind of darken it up a little bit more. And I liked that. That had a lot more contrast and I was happy with that. So now we're moving on to our next stencil, which is upper mountain and lake. I'm going to start with the lake and ink blend it in mermaid lagoon, really beautiful, vibrant blue. And then to do a little shading, I grabbed a prize ribbon. I'm just gonna ink blend kind of the top of the water and the sides just to kind of create a really pretty gradation. Now this is also the same stencil for the mountain and I'm gonna simply ink blend this mountain in shaded lilac, I'm gonna create a little gradation. I think the mountain is really where you start to see how those embossed details really do show up with the ink blending. I love the way that mountain turned out. Now moving on to the sky and lower tree bank stencil. I'm going to ink blend this tree bank in bundled sage, a really pretty light, almost kind of olivey green. And once we finish with that little section, we're ready to move on to the next stencil. I'm actually not going to use the sky, even though that stencil did contain the sky. I'm not going to use that in today's card. And now we're on to the next stencil here. This is tree line background stencil. I'm gonna ink blend this tree line in crushed olive. And so a little bit uh, darker than that bundled sage. And I really like the contrast here, especially between like the darker greens in the foreground and the lighter greens um, for the tree line in the background. Now we're gonna finish up here with this last stencil, which is the lower mountain. And I'm gonna simply ink blend this in dusty concord. And I am gonna ink blend a little gradation where I have it a little bit darker at the base of the mountain and lighter as you get toward the top. And once we finish with this mountain, there's just a couple tree trunks that I have left to ink blend. I'm gonna grab ground espresso distress ink and just ink blend those little tree trunks with that dark dark brown and once we finish with that we are all done with our lakeside scene i'm going to go ahead and remove the stencil and then hold up to the camera here so you can get a good look at all the details i love the way this turned out the this uh stencil and die combo is so cool together it almost looks like a photograph almost now I'm gonna work on the sky. I have an A2 top folding white card base, but before I do the sky, I do wanna kind of trim this down because I do wanna do this kind of vertical card. And so I just kind of line my panel where I want it. 
uh, used a piece of tape to hold it in place, flipped it over and traced along the sides of the card base so I know where to trim down that panel. So I have just this favored section of my scene for my card front. Now I'm ready to move on to ink blending my sky. I have three colors picked out. We're going to kind of do like a sunsetty. Um, almost night, so sort of a dusk scene. I started with Spice Marmalade, now we're gonna move on to Picked Raspberry, and over, make sure we're overlapping those two colors, because that'll create kind of like almost a little red where the orange and the pink overlap. And then we'll move on to Wilted Violet to finish up our sky. So a very vibrant, beautiful sky. Love that there's a lot of possibilities with this scene, so we're kind of doing a sunset -y, but you could definitely do um, daytime with the beautiful blue sky. You could even do this, um, make this scene a nighttime scene as well with some dark blues and even black to create the night sky. Now we're gonna move on to my sentiment. I have this free stamp set. This is included with purchases over $100 while supplies last. And I'm gonna use this for my sentiment today. I'm gonna to grab the adventure and one of the sub sentiments and I'm gonna stamp it on to some black cardstock. I'm also going to grab the Honeybees um, Clear Embossing and Watermark Ink and just ink this up and stamp it a couple times to make sure we have plenty of that ink so we get a good impression. After I stamp this, we're going to dip this into some white embossing powder. And then of course we will heat set with our heat tool. And after I heat set this, I am going to die cut this out with the coordinating die for the adventure. For the sub sentiment, I'm going to just use a ruler and a craft knife to cut that out. So here's that uh, coordinating die. I'm just gonna die cut adventure out, which you see here looks so good. Then I will hold up the sub sentiment and you can see that these are gonna coordinate nicely and really pop against that um, colorful background we've created. I'm gonna go ahead and add some liquid adhesive to the back side of our lake side scene. And I'm just gonna adhere this right to our card front. You could definitely pop this up with some foam adhesive, which is nice that the die lets you to do that. Um, I liked the look of just kind of being flat. I thought that had a really pretty clean, polished look. Now for the sentiment, I am gonna pop that up. So I am gonna grab some foam adhesive strips and add this to the backside of my adventure. And I am also going to add some to the backside of our um, sub sentiment as well. Once I finish adding Adding the adhesive to the um, the die cut or the to the sentiments I'm going to just remove the backing and place it up in the sky this is a nice way to kind of break up that sky a little bit and and kind of help you just kind of move your eye through the whole scene and then I'll finish with that sub sentiment you can see I left a little opening in between the foam adhesive on that sub sentiment so I can place it over the were the the D part in adventure and that just kind of makes it very cohesive like one unit for our sentiment once I get that in place the card is complete on the hold up to the camera so you can get a good look at this lakeside scene. I love how bold and vibrant this is. Also, how really realistic these stencils and dyes are. The texture that the dye adds is perfect, and the uh, detail of the layering stencils is just out of this world. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If any questions about the products that I used, please check out the links below in the description. And also make sure that you are continuing along the hop and checking out all the videos shared today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.